Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the Fisher Studio Standard CD Changer and Turntable. Yes, this machine will spin CDs and it will spin vinyl, both on the same unit. Pretty cool, huh? It's a model DAC145A, and again, it's made by Fisher. It came out in 1991. It has uh, a separate audio output for both the CD and the turntable. I'll spin it around here and then I'll move the camera over so you can have a look. You can see on the back here you have your uh, your audio outputs for both the uh, record player side and the CD side. And I'm just using this adapter to adapt it to a 3.5 millimeter plug. So, you know, it would have been better if they had put a preamp in it and then had both uh, audio outputs coming out of the same uh, same jack, but uh, I guess with most receivers at that time, they would have had both on the back. They would have had a photo input and a CD input, and so therefore you would just switch it on your amplifier, and it would also switch it on the CD player. As you can see on the left of your screen there, there is the preamp that I'm using for the, uh, the turntable section. It is a uh, Art Accessories DJ Pre 2 Phono Preamplifier, which uh, you can still buy to, uh, to this day. Um, so let's give you a quick overview uh, on your display on the front here. Uh, it actually shows you what speed you're playing at, and I don't know very many turntables that actually say 33 RPM or 45 RPM on an LCD screen there on the front, but there you go. You can see both speeds there. Those speeds are controlled on the uh, top of the unit here with uh, these buttons here, and this switches you between analog, meaning vinyl, and CD. This is your tone arm. It has a magnetic cartridge, um, and of course you know if you have a magnetic cartridge you need a preamp, and of course that's why we're using the preamp for this demonstration. Uh, we have uh, the platter here, which is, uh, you know, pretty flimsy plastic uh, platter that uh, works as a turntable for records as well as a turntable to rotate your vinyl, I mean your uh, CDs. Uh, this here is the mechanism that swings over and actually uh, engages the discs as you are playing them, and I'll show you what that looks like here. There's a cover underneath that covers up the uh, the CD mechanism, therefore not exposing it to dust and other particles of contamination. And you can see that swinging into play there. And then the mechanism comes up from the bottom and then engages it from the top. So it's pretty neat. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to tell it stop. And then you'll see the little arm moving back out of the way. And uh, we'll go ahead and load it up with some CDs and just demonstrate for you real quick how it will play CDs. Okay, so on the front here I can select uh, disc 1 and hopefully it knows which one that is. And it looks like it's Michael Jackson's Thriller. And it's going to spin that up and start playing it. Okay, so then I can go to say uh, disc three, which should be the Tony Braxton disc here in the front, but we'll see how well it does here. Looky there, it knew what it was. Had an issue with that earlier. So it spins up the disc, and then on the front, of course, you have your digital display telling you which disc and uh, the minutes and seconds that are elapsed on that particular disc. Okay. And then I can go to say like uh, disc 5. I'll hit 5 and then play and it will swing around and pop in that disc. And it starts playing the uh, the disc there as well. So you can see that's pretty cool. And then the little um, moving mechanism goes back to its little spot over there. So let's see what it does with records. We'll go ahead and take these discs off here. 
Now earlier, when I was playing with it, it uh, it had this weird speed problem where the speed kept speeding up and slowing down. It was kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like it, it was on caffeine or something and it was having a nervous reaction to being on caffeine. But uh, we'll see how it does. I'm going to switch over to analog with this button over here. And then we'll just lift up the tone arm. And let's see what it does here. So you can pick which song you want to play by using the uh, the manual lift over on this side. Cue it up to a particular song that you want to play. And there it goes, kind of doing its little uh, twitch there with the speed. Not sure what its problem is. So you can... Uh, get to the end of the record and when it's done it will return back to its stationary position so there you have it um, like I said it's pretty good as a CD player uh, if you just want to spin some discs uh, it does have random play on the front so you can hit the random play button and and uh, kind of mix up the sound of your uh, CDs uh, as far as, as a record player goes, I would say it's just minimum. I mean, it has a magnetic cartridge. It has a nice light tone arm, which, you know, shouldn't destroy your records. But uh, at the same time, it's really not a, uh, I don't know. Do you really want to put your vinyl in the middle of a, a big plastic spinning thing that discs go on? I don't know. But uh, in any case, if you happen to be low on space and you need something that doesn't take up the space a, a CD changer and a turntable would take up, then uh, hey, why not do them both at once, right? Uh, the unit does have a remote control with it, but uh, the remote does not uh, operate the uh, record player at all. It, uh, it just simply controls the CD functions on the front. So, uh, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I thought it was a really unique piece of uh, technology. A hybrid CD player turntable from 1991. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Be sure and uh, watch my other videos. I explain how to connect a turntable and what to look for in a turntable if you're looking to, to get into vinyl. And, um, and again, there's another video I made where I show you how to hook up a turntable to various devices uh, depending upon what kind of stereo setup you have at your house. And again, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.